pray for the whole state of Christ Church. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty. Beseech thee to inspire and continue the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, especially Roland the Archbishop of Canterbury, the primates of our Anglican Communion, for Wendell, the Bishop of our Diocese, for Keith, my Bishop Protector, for the clergy of this parish, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people, give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence, they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee, of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. We also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear. Seeking thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace to follow the good examples of Saint Mary, Saint John the Evangelist, and all the saints, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near unto the faith, and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed, by thought, word, and deed, against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent, and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Most merciful God, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in this of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy and promise forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith come unto him. Have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Here we come to the words our Savior Christ said to all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all who believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Here also at St. Paul said, This is a true saying, and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Here also at St. John said, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. 